Hello, users, and welcome to another episodic installation of Above It All, the series where I get drunk the night before and I sound a little shaky and icky. Now, I will say real quick, I've never had a hangover in my entire life, um, but I did not sleep too well, so I, I'm, I've got a, you know little bit of uh, sleep issues and I'm uh, not drinking any coffee. Maybe I will drink coffee. Maybe I'll change my mind later. I don't, I'm not sure. But uh, either way, let's talk about the news. Rand Paul was attacked! <laughs> he was attacked! Oh! And uh, so this is a video um, that basically showcases the attack. And uh, basically what it boils down to is Rand Paul is upset that uh, his free speech was being suppressed. By the way, cuck Rand Paul with that mask on. What a cuck. And uh, so let's watch Rand Paul's get his free speech suppressed. Reminder, he is a senator from Kentucky where Breonna Taylor was massacred by police and the police have not faced uh, any sort of consequences whatsoever. So keep this in mind. This is the context here. The fucking the bike cop is so good. <laughs> oh my god. Look at him run. He's so scared. I love to see it. Again, real quick, Rand Paul is one of those libertarian, like, whatever's not really a libertarian, but, you know, like, the kind, like, a brand proposition. And so, and his whole thing is, like, 1776, I'm a constitutionalist, right? And the, one of the things that's so bizarre about the 1770s and how libertarians and republicans have manipulated that is how this is the, imagine, like, if you were in the 1770s and you weren't celebrating a politician getting, like, you know, made fun of and mocked and fucking, like, it, then you weren't a real person. You were just a loyalist kind, like, NPC, basically basically like and this is the thing is like this is the this is the seven we are in a 1770s style environment right now where we're seeing statues of the old being toppled reminder that the patriots in the revolution tore down statues of king george melted them into bullets and shot police with them so that's incredibly crucial reminders now am i saying we should do that no i do not endorse violence of any kind because i am a youtuber and that is illegal for me to say but i will say i do enjoy Rand Paul fearing for his life because someone like pushed a bike and like the cops were so uncomfortably close to him and gave him no personal space whatsoever that like that he got knocked a little bit by praxis and it, or proxy uh, and again this is a sitting senator so he's gonna cry and whine about being slightly inconvenienced on his walk from point A to point B which by the way he did purely as a photo op this was all intentional and now he's crying oh I got a no, when you got attacked, that was when your neighbor punched you out for being an annoying jackhole. Okay, this is not you being attacked. This is people yelling at you for being a bad person, and there's a very distinct difference. Oh my god. It's just, again, it's so embarrassing the way these politicians dawdle and, and do their thing. And again, they will realize soon enough that you cannot govern a body that does not want to be governed. Just as how we learned in the 1770s that you cannot tax a body that does not want to be taxed. They will learn again in the 2020s that you cannot Ta like you cannot do that you cannot be a senator from kentucky whose whole thing is about law and order law and order and not advocate to arrest killer cops okay you just can't do it and the sooner we as a society realize that this is not something that we should allow the sooner we can actually start making changes to this society that make things a lot easier for everybody involved so thank you for watching everyone y'all have a good one Hopefully Rand Paul is still shaking 36 hours later. We can only hope.